let's go to let's go for example the 2014 NFL draft. Okay, and okay. the 2014 NFL draft, the Dallas Cowboys took uh, at number 16, of course, All Pro right guard Zach Martin at 16. Okay, now in that draft, um, you had Aaron Donald who went at 13, Odell Beckham Jr. who went, went 12, but behind Zach Martin you had C.J. Mosley, D. Ford, for example. Jimmy Ward, Teddy Bridgewater, Bradley Roby, and others. Would you still take that same player at number 16 with Zach Martin? Oh, gosh, yes. Okay. Oh, gosh, yes. There's, oh. Yeah, absolutely. There's, there's. I mean, who else would I have taken? So CJ Mosley was immediately behind Zach Martin at number 17. He went to Baltimore. Not even close. Okay. Brandon Cooks went at 20. Ha Ha Clinton Dix went at 21 to the Green Bay Packers. D4 went to the... Kansas yeah. City number now, I suppose I could say if I wanted to go further down that, you know, um, it was it was towards the end of Romo. Would you have taken Derek Carr, you know, because he's a quarterback? Mm. But no, I still would have taken Zach Martin. Zach Martin, uh, what, look, he changed this offensive line. Prior to Zach Martin getting here, this offensive line was still not the greatest. And, and then we get him in the 2014 draft, and all of a sudden, it's the best running team we've ever seen. Would not have changed a thing. Okay. Let's you? Go. No, I probably wouldn't. No, oh, I'd, I'd still take Zach Martin. Right. 2015. 2015. When we look at the 2015 NFL draft, the Dallas Cowboys, during that particular draft, when you look, took at number 27, of course, Byron Jones. Okay. Now, behind him, when you have Byron Jones, you had uh, Lakin Tomlinson, Philip Dorsett, Malcolm Brown. That's who you had behind him. Landon Collins went at number 33. Mario Edwards went at number 35. Preston Smith went at number 38 to Washington. Wouldn't change a thing. Okay. Um, it's not it's not by it's not my fault or Byron Jones' fault that the Cowboys don't uh value coverage. <laughs> uh so yeah, I would not have changed a thing. And people forget that was the same uh draft year as uh, Amari Cooper, who went number four overall, of course, to the Oakland Raiders at the time. Jared Goff went one, Carson Wentz two, Joey Bosa at three, Zeke at four. Jalen Ramsey at five. Ronnie Stanley went six to Baltimore. So if you look at the 2016 draft, would you still take Ezekiel Elliott now knowing what you know about both players? I'm low-key faded, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would, I would not have taken him at the time either. Uh, I, I was oh, so you would have, secret. You would have taken, taken Ramsey at the time. I was not a fan of the pick. I don't like taking running backs that high. You can get somebody who's semi as good uh, in the second round, third round. Fourth round, fifth round, sixth round. It's funny you say that because do you remember who was also a part of this 2016 draft? Derrick Henry, right? Derrick Henry yeah. was also part of this draft. Yeah, you can you can go <laughs> I mean, you can go to the second, third round here and just you know Derrick Henry 45. Uh, you can go down and keep looking for other running backs that were taken. Kenyon Drake was 73. Yeah, that's what I was about to point out. You bring up Derrick Henry, but he was 45. He was the next running back after Zeke at four. <laughs> there were 41 right. spots until you yeah. got another running back. That's yeah, right. you just don't you, – th teams just aren't drafting him. I mean, um, Devontae Booker was taking 136. He tried to be – you know, he had, he had a good couple of years. Um, Jordan Howard, the Bears, was taking the fifth round, 150th. He had a fantastic couple of seasons. So there's, there's, there's running backs all up and down. Uh, isn't, isn't Alex Collins with Washington for a little bit? He had a good couple years too, um, so there's there's plenty of guys. I, yeah, I was that that is that is the one, it's the one that got away. That 16 class. Everyone points. Sorry, everyone points to Dak Prescott as the reason they had to get rid of Amari Cooper. No, it's it's Zeke's contract. It's the 15 million you gave Zeke. That'll do, and then the restructure. That is why you're having to get rid of all these players. Dak Prescott's cap hit for 2022, by the way, uh, 19 million dollars. So don't let the Cowboys try to convince you it's Dak Prescott's contract because it's not. It's not. Uh, by the way, that 2016 draft class loaded, by the way. Do you remember who went number 47? How about Michael Thomas to the New Orleans Saints? Mm. He went at 47 in that particular draft. But yeah, the Cowboys, If let's just say if we had go down memory lane a little bit, they could have taken in that draft Jalen Ramsey, Derrick Henry, and still would have been able to draft Dak Prescott if they wanted to draft him. Later on in the fourth round. But, of course, the Cowboys took Zeke at number four. And then at number 34, they took Jalen Smith at number 34, of course. <laughs> you, you okay in there? No, I'm good. You good? I'm good. Okay. My knee hurts. Stop it. <laughs> Stop, Troy. Jeez.
But yeah, that that piece of audio got Cowboys fans charged up yesterday because a lot of people were very split at the time between Ezekiel Elliott and, of course, Jalen Ramsey.